which is a 4-3 ratio HD format. And that makes this the first HD spy camera that I've reviewed. HD format. And that makes this the first HD spy camera that I've reviewed. But before we get into the pen, let's just have a look at the other things inside the box. Now to me, there's nothing more boring than a really slow unboxing, so I've sped this up. Let's just show you what you've got. There's a, a USB wall adapter here to charge it up with. You've got the obligatory USB A to B lead. You've got the driver disc, which I'm not going to be using. And you've got the um, Chinese instructions, which also are in English. And there's a heck of a lot of them. Either this is the most complicated thing in the world, or the instructions have gone a little bit overboard. So I think I'll just bypass the instructions and talk you through the different features of the pen. So if you were curious, yes it is really a pen, uh, there is a biro in there that will come out when you twist it. And at this end is the camera lens just above the clip there that points outwards when the thing's put inside a breast pocket. And at the top is the one button that operates all the functions of the camera. And on the back here is a reset button and an indicator light. When it's charging, the indicator light flashes red and green alternately until it's fully charged. To operate the camera, you hold down the button. It goes green momentarily and then changes to red. This means you can record video just by tapping and then the red light starts flashing. That means it's currently recording video. So tap again to stop the recording. It goes a solid red light. And if you hold it down, and it'll go green, that means it'll take still photos, so just tap in this mode to take a still photo, it flashes once and goes back to green, hold it down, and then it goes back to red again, which means you could either take video, or as I'm doing now, holding it down longer until it all goes completely dark, and that means it's off. The pen itself is really well put together. It's got a nice metal thread, which I'm unscrewing now to show you the insides, and in here is the mini USB port, and underneath that, that tiny slot is just wide enough to fit in a micro SD card. It protrudes slightly, but that's not going to be a problem because the rest of the pen covers that. Although, when you put in your USB cable, it is rather a tight fit, and it looks to go in at a bit of a strange angle, but it does work, so I wouldn't really worry too much about that. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about the HD Spy Pen, apart from, of course, what the quality of the video is like. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a second. But as I mentioned, it is 1280 by 960 So I'm expecting big things from this pen. Let's give it a go.